Bible says the most high is sovereign over the kingdom of men. I chose you out of the world. Therefore, the world will hate you. Sanctification is the gradual process by which a believing Christian is made holy through the Holy Spirit. The supernatural is what makes Christianity much more than a mere religion. For a sanctified life is indispensable for a Christian if he or she wants to be in good relationship with God and grow in grace. Religious plus education. Yes, that is education in totality. For a child to have a taste of modern world, he or she must grab knowledge from a great citadel of learning. Oshitelu Memorial Nursery Primary School, Ogirere Morgan State. The Church of the Lord College, Ogirere Morgan State. Aladura Comprehensive High School, Antony Village, Lagos. Reverend Emmanuel Oyedele Ashamu, Nursery Primary School, Antony Village, Lagos. Oshitelu Memorial Nursery Primary School, Ayede Ekiti, and Aladura Theological Institute, Ogerere Morgan State, and Antony Village, Lagos, Nigeria. We have a conducive learning environment, qualified and experienced teachers, basic computer education, career counseling, science and introductory technology laboratory, and lots more. Admission is in process at Oshitelu Memorial Nursery Primary School, Ogerere Mo. The Church of the Lord College, Ogereremo, Aladura Comprehensive High School, Antony Village, Reverend Emmanuel Ashamu, Nosrian Primary School, Antony Village, Aladura Theological Institute, Ogereremo, Ogun State, and Antony Village, Lagos, Nigeria. For details, contact the Church of the Lord Worldwide, Ogereremo Spiritual and International Headquarters, P.O. Box 71, Shagamu, Ogun State, Nigeria. You can also call these lines. Aladra groups of schools cater for the yearnings of modern education. Viewers from all over the world, we, work, we welcome you to the Voice of Victory, the media outreach of the Church of the Lord worldwide, coming on to you from the international headquarters of Giriremo, Ugo State, Nigeria. People of God, the message coming on to you today is tagged Testimony Galore. To do. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says it is a portion to man to die but once, but then comes judgment. So ask yourself, what will God say about you at this very moment? Will it be a testimony for or a testimony against? The Israelites in Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 7 cried to God saying verse 7 Although our sin testify against us, O Lord, do something for the sake of your name. For our backsliding is so great. We have sinned against you. That is a heart, a repentant heart. How many of us can come in somber mood and come clean with God? Because 
Our sins testify against us. Do something for the sake of your name. For our backsliding is so great. We have sinned against you. Remember the story of the prodigal son. After he has misbehaved, after he has gone through rough life, the Bible says he came back to his senses. And he said to himself, I will go to my father and I will say, Father, and I have sinned against you and against heaven. Please receive me and treat me as one of your servants. That is the type of repentant heart God wants from you and me. Not the type of Saul, King Saul, that you will be looking for excuses. God will understand why I steal. God will understand why I inflated the price. God knows that I need some money. Oh, I feel sorry for you. Because at the end of the day, Satan will deceive you. You will make that money. You will build that house. You will buy that car. But at the end of the day, you will not use it. Immediately you finish buying the car, building the house, God will just take you away. Then you'll be wondering, why did God even allow me to build the house and buy the car? God is not happy for any sinner that loses his soul. The reason God left you alive to build the house and to buy the cars is only because he wants to give you a long rope to pull so that you may come to repentance. But when you remain adamant and you are not remorseful, you are not repentant, you continue to give excuses like King Saul. The same way God dealt with Saul, God will deal with you. People of God, as usual, the Israelites carried, you no know, cry to God whenever their backs, you know, whenever they backslided. And when God forgives them, and they become comfortable, they will go back to their sin again and God will punish them and they will come and repent of their sin and God will receive them because the God that we are serving is a loving God people of God the only hope to receive help from God is to genuinely repent and turn to God and remain close unto him. We saw what happened to that prodigal son. It's a parable. God is the father. The moment the, the moment the young man came, came to his senses and said, I will go back to my father and I will say I have sinned against you and against heaven. God was very happy. His father was happy. As I said, every time a sinner repents, the saints and the angels in heaven, they rejoice. The Bible says the moment his father saw him far off, he's not even close to the house, yes, far off, 
the father said, go and prepare the best cattle. Mm -hmm. Kill it. We are going to celebrate for my lost son has been found and is alive again. Babare, biyoti uwo ni okiri. Koti eti isuma rara okiri. Loti ni pe oma mi no fa wasile yi. Ishe lo pe a mwa. Yo yon shere, oni kwa wore. Oni e lo mwa dragon tato dara. E kwa ele yi, a ofi se a joyo. Ni tori oma mi yi ti no. Take him to the bathroom, wash him, and wear the best clothes, the best, the best robes on him. E kulo si badwe. That is the same way God rejoices. God is happy when you are truly repentant and you come back to Him. So, anytime you want God to bless you, just repent. Truly, genuinely repent of all your sins. And move closer to God. And remain closer with Him. And He will bless you unto great testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus. People of God, share your testimonies. Thanksgiving, in the letter of Paul, the apostle, as found in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 4 to 6, Paul gave thanks to God because his testimony about Christ Jesus was confirmed in the disciples. It was confirmed in the followers of Christ. Paul Ndupe, gege bi ati si akon sile re ninu we Corinthians kini, ori kini e se ike re si ike fa. Awon me yin yoku, won si ri eri re ninu oro opo yore won. So in like manner, we should start our testimony with thanksgiving. Nitori na we should share the goodness of God in our lives with others so that it may encourage other believers. Religious plus education. Yes, that is education in totality. For a child to have a taste of modern world, he or she must grab knowledge from a great citadel of learning. Oshitelu Memorial Nursery Primary School, Ogirere Morgan State, the Church of the Lord College, Ogirere Morgan State, Aladura Comprehensive High School, and Tony Village, Lagos, Reverend Emmanuel Oyedele Ashamu, Nursery Primary School, and Tony Village, Lagos. Oshitelu Memorial Nursery Primary School, Ayede Ekiti, and Aladura Theological Institute, Ogerere Morgan State, and Antony Village, Lagos, Nigeria. We have a conducive learning environment, qualified and experienced teachers, basic computer education, career counseling, science and introductory technology laboratory, and lots more. Admission is in process at Oshitelu Memorial Nursery Primary School, Ogerere Mo. The Church of the Lord College, Ogereremo, Aladura Comprehensive High School, and Tony Village, Reverend Emmanuel Ashamu, Nozrian Primary School, and Tony Village, Aladura Theological Institute, Ogereremo, Ogun State, and Antony Village, Lagos, Nigeria. For details, contact the Church of the Lord Worldwide, Ogereremo Spiritual and International Headquarters, P.O. Box 71, Shagamu, Ogun State, Nigeria. You can also call these lines. <music> Aladra groups of schools cater for the yearnings of modern education. Share your testimonies with members of your family. Share your testimony with those inside and outside the church. I met, this reminds me of one man, a great man, a government official I met in Syria alone. He, he came to me and said, Daddy, I want to share a testimony with you. If not for the testimony my mother shared with me, I would have left the church. 
And she does not told, tell me once, she kept telling me and reminding me. He said, my mother told me that she was a barren woman. She was married till old age without any issue. Until she went to a man of God in our church in Freetown, Sierra Leone. And the man of God prayed for her. And God revealed to him to tell the woman that the woman will bear a son. And that son will be so great and will remove all the shame, all the mockery in the life of the parents. And by the grace of God, he is the pillar of the church in Freetown. He said many of his friends who are going to modern age churches, new age churches, who are saying, what are you doing in Aladra church? You this great man, a man of your status. And he, he said, I, he can never forget the testimony um, his mom always reminds him of. Because the mother had gone to all other churches, there was no way out. It was until she came to the church of the Lord in Freetown, Sierra Leone, that God answered her prayer. Let us come back home. In this very Nigeria, I went to a bank in Lagos. And I met the director. As I was sitting in a place where I was told to sit, he just went by and recognized me. I don't know him and I don't recognize him then he just came he, he approached me sir are you primate or shitelu? I said yes say please come to my office come to my office, come to my, office. Come to my, office. Ah, my people don't know who you are you shouldn't have been waiting here and he took me into his office and he said daddy I want to give you a testimony he said in my heart I'm a member of your church. I know all your apostles, all your bishops. Particularly from my area, Edo Delta, I know all of them. But he said, I work in Lagos. One thing I do and I never miss at the crossover night I always go to your church at Yaba in Lagos after the service I will approach the apostle and I will ask him to pray for me. And he mentioned the name of the apostle. 
And the apostle will pray and give me revelations. Beloved, the, the choice is yours. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19 to 20 says, Because our God is so good, He admonished us. This day I call heaven and earth as witnesses that I have said before you life and death. Blessings and curses. Now choose life. I cancel you, choose life. So that you and your children may live in abundance. That you may love your Lord, your God. And listen to his voice. And hold fast unto him. People of God, may God grant you the grace to do his good will and many good opportunities and testimony be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. And it is so. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Almighty Father, Heavenly Father of glory, thou art the greatest provider. There is nothing beyond you, O Lord, because you are the source of all good things. Father, meet your people at the point of their needs in the mighty name of Jesus. And grant unto them according to their hard desires. Grant unto them the grace to give great testimony unto your goodness. Inside and outside the church, grant them the courage to testify of your goodness. Eternal God of glory, glorify yourself in the life of your people. Glorify yourself in all their profession. Glorify yourself in their occupation. Glorify yourself in their family. Glorify yourself in their marriages. Glorify yourself in their ministry. Whatever they do, O oh Lord, Father, glorify yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. And they will come to give great testimony unto your goodness because you are a good God. Glory, honor, and majesty belongs to you. And let your people always have cause to give glory and honor to your name. Let your people always have cause to give great testimony unto your goodness. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen. In Jesus' name. People of God, viewers all over the world, continue to call the numbers you are seeing on your screen. Call these numbers for intercessory prayers. Call this number for counseling. And you can also share your testimonies with us through these numbers. And the more you do that, the more you share your testimony, the more the Lord is going to bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. So we shall see you again by the grace of God next week, same day, same time, same channel, same station, by the grace of God. Remain blessed until we see next week. Peace be unto you. In the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. Bye bye. It is well. It is well in Jesus' name. Religious plus education. Yes, that is education in totality. For a child to have a taste of modern world, 
he or she must grab knowledge from a great citadel of learning, Oshitelu Memorial Nursery and Primary School, Ogirere Morgan State, the Church of the Lord College, Ogirere Morgan State, Aladura Comprehensive High School, and Tony Village, Lagos, Reverend Emmanuel Oyedele Ashamu, Nursery and Primary School, and Tony Village, Lagos, Oshitelu Memorial Nursery and Primary School, Ayede Ekiti and Aladura Theological Institute, Ogerere Morgan State, and Antony Village, Lagos, Nigeria. We have a conducive learning environment, qualified and experienced teachers, basic computer education, career counseling, science and introductory technology laboratory, and lots more. Admission is in process at Oshitelu Memorial Nozion Primary School, Ogerere Mo. The Church of the Lord College, Ogerere Mo. Aladura Comprehensive High School, Antony Village, Reverend Emmanuel Ashamu, Nozrian Primary School, Antony Village, Aladura Theological Institute, Ogereremo, Ogun State, and Antony Village, Lagos, Nigeria. For details, contact the Church of the Lord Worldwide, Ogereremo Spiritual and International Headquarters, PO Box 71, Shagamu, Ogun State, Nigeria. You can also call these lines. <laughs> Aladra groups of schools cater for the yearnings of modern education. We are serving the Lord of miracles. We know, yes, we know. We are serving the Lord.